chucking up. I used to do 10 months. I posted a couple days ago that was talking about the situation going on with Reddit and third party apps. And so now I want to give a little update on what's going on because the title of this video isn't necessarily wrong. It is actually something that is about to happen on Reddit. It's going to be a dark uh, blackout, if you will. You might as well say Reddit has shut down for what these communities are about to do. So to catch up to speed on what happened last week is there is a developer for a popular app called Apollo for Reddit. It's on iOS. You may or may not have heard of it, but it is a very, very, very big app that I and many others use. And the developer made a post on the subreddit that was talking about how Reddit's about to start charging for API usage. And if the developer want to keep using the app or any other developer for that matter, that's a third party app, they're going to be paying a fuckload of money just for Apollo. They're going to be spending $20 million per year just to access Reddit's API and for all the users to use the app. Now, I, I don't know about you, but that's absurdly expensive. And for anyone who has more than one brain cell, then you can kind of tell that Reddit's pretty much trying to put this in a position where all the third party apps don't have a choice but to stop, which makes everyone have to funnel into the main app itself. And Reddit doesn't have to do anything. They don't have to technically look like the bad guys for shutting down third party apps in the sense of forcing them to quit, but they just outprice them so much. That they're like, hey, we know you can't afford this, but hey, we're, we're not making you shut down. That's your choice not ours your choice we just happen to have an absurdly high price that's you know it's, we're not saying that we put it there on purpose but it's there on purpose so that you would quit uh development on the app and all your users and everybody else will have to go to our app that's pretty much the situation in a nutshell and so following that news it shouldn't come to the surprise of nobody but reddit didn't take that lightly at all uh, the admins, I'm not even talking about the admins themselves. I'm talking about the users and the subreddit uh, owners and moderators for all the different subs that make Reddit, w Reddit pretty much without these subreddits, <laughs> the website's dead. So yeah, none of those people took it kindly. And so now they have tried to band together to make an effort to try and save Reddit. And so three days ago, this post was made. They actually made a whole subreddit called save third party apps. It said, don't let Reddit kill third party apps. And then it says what's going on, explains what's going on. And so here's the plan. This is what they're trying to come up with, a solution to try and make uh, the Reddit admins try and notice like, hey, this is a change that we don't agree with. And you should really consider backpedaling on this and try and find a better solution. And so they said on June 12th, many subreddits will be going dark to protest this policy. Some will return after 48 hours. Others will go away permanently unless the issue is adequately addressed. Since many moderators aren't able to put in the work they do with the poor tools available through the official app, this isn't something any of us do lightly we do what we do because we love reddit and we truly believe this change will make it impossible to keep doing what we love the two-day blackout isn't the goal and isn't the end should things reach the 14th with no sign of reddit choosing to fix what they have broken we'll use the community and buzz we have built be, uh, between then and now as a tool for further action so pretty much their whole idea is what i said to begin in this video reddit is going to become pretty much shut down in the sense of hey you might go to your favorite subreddit you can't do anything on there. Guess what? It's gone. It's, it's done. So there's not going to be no post. No one can post anything at all. So you're going to go find another subreddit to go to. And then guess what? You go to another one and it's probably going to be shut down as well, too. So the entire point of this is basically to try and bring awareness for everybody to understand. So you have a new user or someone that comes to a subreddit like r slash cats and it's blacked out or not blacked out literally, but you go to it, you can't actually post anything or it's private or whatever the case might be on how they go about it. And you can't do anything. You're going to be like, huh, what's going on? And then you start looking around and you're going to see oh what's this uh blackout thing going on what, what's going on with reddit third party apps is to bring more awareness and cause inconvenience to users so that reddit can now see that hey our fucking website can't work when people are doing shit like this and so it's trying to force reddit's hand to actually take action and say hey all right we hear you we understand y'all loud and clear all right we're going to try and work to get a solution to this problem because now so much of an inconvenience for the the owners of the website themselves that now they're going to lose out on users and, and traffic and, and data whatever you want to advertisers whatever way they make money because i'm pretty sure it's not just advertisements that they make money from the website but it's a cost so much of an inconvenience that they start to lose money because now they got users not staying on the website because they can't actually use the subreddits that they want to be on and so if these are some of the subreddits you normally browse you're probably not gonna be able to browse for a while at least during the two day blackout period or even longer depending on if the moderators decide to do it so for 30 million you have r slash awe gaming music picks today i learned 20 million diy earth porn explain like in five life pro tips videos 10 plus million creepy futurology life hacks today i fucked up like there are a lot of big subreddits that are going to go on this blackout which can cause a pretty big inconvenience because so many people use these uh subreddits daily that is the whole reason why they got such a high user count because there are so many people who browse it so many people who like the sub and so the bigger the number the bigger the inconvenience that is the whole purpose of this to create as much inconvenience as possible so just for you or me 
I've already seen some subreddits on here that is going to be an inconvenience to me as well. Subs that normally I browse all the time, then guess what? I can't do it no more. What am I going to do about it? Be upset about it, of course. And that's why I make this video, bring awareness for other people. One, to educate you so that you know what's going on with this whole situation. But two, just to bring more awareness to the situation and complain myself because I think this fucking sucks that Reddit wants to be stingy ass bitches and they want to just destroy all third party apps and try and force people to go back to an app that doesn't even really work that well to begin with. Now, I do understand that the idea of going on a blackout for only two days doesn't really help in the grand scheme of things because a lot of people can just sit there and say well hey reddit they already know that it's only going to happen for two days so that was well, a slight inconvenience for them even though all the subs are going to go back anyway even though it's technically not 100 percent confirmed it's just that some are going to go back after 40 hours and some might just keep going on until uh, something is fixed but at the least something is better than nothing so at this point i you know what i have the same sentiment realistically when i read uh blackout for two days i was like oh reddit admins are probably just going to sit there and wait it out they'll be like all right well two days over <laughs> everything's back to normal fine that's cool i mean it's not going to be a big inconvenience because it doesn't go away permanently and that is typically the problem people have when they do like a, a limited time blackout because when you do something like that then it just shows to the person that you're trying to send a message to that, hey, we're only going to do this for a couple of days. That's pretty much as long as we're going to last. But they did say in their post that they'll see what happens after 48 hours. If Reddit doesn't do anything then, then they'll try and uh, take action from there. So who knows? Maybe something will happen, but only time will tell. Anyways, uh, yeah, I just wanted to talk about this. I'm going to have a link to the uh, where I showed you all the subreddits that are going to be going blackout. I have a link to the description below if you want to check it out just to see if your favorite sub is going to go dark. But yeah, uh, Reddit, please stop doing this. Uh, I don't know, make an agreement, find a way to uh, not charge so much money. I think that would be the best solution, but we'll see. Anyways, yeah, bye-bye. Eliminated all options.